Hi, this is Nick Thornsberry, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you kind of a Steve Gadd inspired 30 second note halftime groove. So, play it once, and I'll break it down for you. So for this one, uh, I, I just kind of came across playing this version of it. I don't know, it might be in a Steve Gadd song somewhere, I don't know. If you know where it's from, let me know. But either way, I'm going to break it down. So uh, you got to get used to doing these double strokes, Steve Gadd style, where like instead of doing right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, he does right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. And it's the same sound basically, but it's a different feel because the one is going to kind of shift uh, from where you start. So I would just practice them like this. And do that with your metronome so you keep track of where the one is. And uh, try and get your ghost notes on your snare drum to be really clear and precise along with your hi-hat notes like that. Once you get used to that, you also get, got to get used to the uh, left foot. It does a displaced 16th note on a, uh, and instead of hitting the actual note with the stick, you're going to be making the sound with the hi-hat. So it's kind of like this. Right before the downbeat on three, you got. So get used to doing that. Do some exercises to uh, get your left foot warmed up. And let me actually break down the sticking for you. So I'll do it in a couple different groove, or groupings. Because this lick is actually two bars long. So first part is like this, bass drum on one. And the snare drum is going to be on three because it's half time instead of two and four, which would be in kind of the normal time. So that's where the back beat is. So it starts like this. This first part. The second part is this. Uh, started on three. So the uh, and then that's one right there. So the snare drum is the accent, and then the other notes on the snare drum are ghost notes. So it's like this. And the bass drum, you kind of want to ghost the first part of the note. It's like a pickup note into the one. Alright, then the last part is one. So the open hi hat is going to take up pretty much all the beat four, and if I did it slow, it'd be one beat and one two and sounds like this. Alright, and another variation I like to do with the same kind of lick is on the second part where you kind of have that open hi hat, I like to do the same general groove but just keep this pattern going. So it's like 1 E and, 2 E and, 3 E and, 4 E and, like that, and then the back beat on 3. So it's the same deal where it's. this right hand pattern going and yeah that's kind of a fun one too so I'll play the original lick in context so you can kind of hear it and I'll 
kind of mess around with both of those two variations. <laughs> questions about this and you need me to break it down more let me know write me a comment message whatever and hope you enjoy thanks a lot for watching <laughs>